pockets. Hello, I'm Jason Mason and I live with my family in Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop and here's Miss Smiley's cafe which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops' shop, where you can buy anything and everything. This is my house, where I live with my mum, dad, sister and grandpa. I wonder what's in there. It's brilliant. It was Sunday and my friend Josh had come round. Grandpa let us open his treasure chest to play with all his old toys. Hey, I love the boat. This is an old favourite of mine. Monkey Albert. Hello, Josh. Hello, Just Josh. then, Mum came downstairs. Hello, everyone, but I've got to dash out to visit Great Aunt Loretta. She's not feeling very well. But don't worry, I've sent for someone to come and look after you all. I want you to have to manage on your own, Grandpa. Can you guess who it might be? No. It was Bubbles the babysitter. Hi! Hi. I'm, I'm so, so glad, glad to see you. you. Hello, Bubbles. Hello, Grandpa. Little did we know that today there would be trouble for Bubbles. Bubbles is always great fun. Sometimes we make things. Sometimes we play bat and ball. Sometimes we do face painting. And sometimes we act out Captain Dumbletwit stories. Sunny, sunny, but today we were having a sing song in the garden. Place to be. It's sunny and it's sandy and it's right. We thought we were in for a great afternoon. Just then we heard. Okay, I'll go. Someone was at the door. Bubbles went to answer it. Scary cat, scary cat, scary cat. I'm Jason's friend Troy. I've come to play. Hey! Troy's come to play! I met your mum outside. She said that it was okay for me to come round since Bubbles was here. Oh, she did, did she? Time I went for a little lie down. I'll be right back, Josh. Grandpa, wait! Ah! <laughs> Troy lives next door. And he's always invited himself round to play. <laughs> Very spoiled and he's very rude. Na, 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 na. He does things like this. I want it! No! Me! Give it to! And this. <laughs> but I want to play with it! And this. <sighs> and he makes Grandpa say. That boy Troy needs a taste of his own medicine. If he thinks he's going to scare bubbles, then he's got another thing coming. Not the shrinking up, Grandpa! Grandpa, stop! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. He can ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. Whee! <laughs> Not the plane, Grandpa! He can fly off in my plane. Grandpa, watch out! I'm the only one who knows that Grandpa shrinks, so it's really important that nobody else sees him. Grandpa, hide! I could hear Troy and Bubbles coming. Stop! Come back here! Stop! I'm coming! 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 I'm co
like being chased. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat, scaredy cat. You should stop being mean to her. Yeah, we all like her. She's such a laugh. She's such a scaredy cat. Ha! This is a really rubbish monkey. But you know what? He might have his uses. We knew that Troy just had to be stopped. I'm not at all scared. I'm just fine. Deep breaths. Careful, Bubbles! Watch out! Ha ah! ha! <laughs> scary cat! Scary cat! It's not funny! Oh, it's fine. I'm just being silly. <laughs> Let's put Monkey Albert up here, shall we? Where he can't get up to any more mischief. There. Now, who's for a game of hide and seek? Oh, me! Yeah, 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 yeah. So Troy had to count, and we had to hide. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I hid behind the sofa. I knew that Grandpa would have a plan, and he might need my help. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty! Grandpa? Troy went to Grandpa's bedroom door. I thought you were having a lie down. Are you hiding? Now I knew what Grandpa's plan was. He was going to try to give Troy a few frights because he'd scared Bubbles. And you know what Grandpa's like? If he's got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. <laughs> hey! Have you got a battery inside you or something? <laughs> no. You're just rubbish. Now, where is everybody? I thought I should let Troy find me because Grandpa was going to need my help. Ha! Found you, Jason. You're rubbish at hiding. <laughs> Grandpa had got Monkey Albert into the coffee jar with him. This was all going to go horribly wrong. How'd you do that? I don't like it. <laughs> this time, Grandpa had gone too far. Troy was sure to find him in the coffee jar. That's it. I'm going to throw you into the pond. No! You're a horrible monkey. No, you're a horrible boy. You're a big bully. It's me! The good news was that Grandpa had not been chucked in the pond. The bad news was that Troy was running round the garden yelling. Bubbles came out of her hiding place. Oh, the monkey! It's alive! It talked to me and everything! Honest, it's really scary! You're just overexcited, Troy. Deep breaths now. So Bubbles made Troy breathe in and out until he'd calmed down. I saw that Monkey Albert had gone, so I just knew that Grandpa was up to something else. I'm so sorry I tried to scare you today, Bubbles. Look! Monkey Albert's climbed a tree! <laughs> oh, Jason! You must have put him up there. <laughs> you are a one, you are. <laughs> it was you all the time, Jason. How did you do that? It was so cool. Now, who's for ice cream? Oh, me, 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 ice cream. Oh, oh, Grandpa, jump down right now. I picked Grandpa up and put him in my pocket. And while the others were getting ice cream, I put him back down by his chair. Off came the shrinking cap, and Grandpa came back to his normal size. I don't think Troy will try and scare anyone else in a hurry, do you? No, Grandpa. I think you taught him a lesson. I think we both did. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> when Mum came home, it was time for Troy to go. Bye-bye, Troy. Take care now. Anyone like to watch a DVD? Yes! yes! Captain Dumbletwit discovers a small planet just to the left of Pluto. Yay! I'm sorry about Troy. Still, just as well you came, Bubbles. 
Grandpa would never have been able to deal with Troy on his own. No, of course I wouldn't. Captain Dumbletwit discovers a small planet just to the left of Pluto. With our magic and turn the world hairy. Oh, how tricky! We've run out of spells in our hairy fairy tree. But they don't care, they, they love, love to be hairy. The ha ha fairies, finding all the laughter in hairy land. Ma, ha, and Minnie. And don't forget, there's Nana. And Chihuahua, the hairy pet. But up on the hill in Chateau Shampoo, there's Boris Boo Hoo. And Boris Boris is trouble, you wait and see. But they don't care, they love to be hairy. The ha ha oh. Oh. That was some trip, Quiff. I'm so hot and so tired. Oh, me too. Couldn't walk another step. Oh, hi. We've just climbed all the way up Floppy Mop Mountain. Ooh. Wiki smells a bit whiffy. She could do with a bath. I heard that. Oh, what I meant was, why don't you relax in a tub of Boohoo Bubble Bath? Hmm. Oh, you never know what's in Boohoo Bubble Bath. You're right there. Remember that time, Boris? <gasps> I do, I do. Oh, let me tell them, let me tell them. OK. <sighs> well, this is all about Boris. So, it all started up at Chateau Shampoo. Someone had been shopping. Can you guess who? Boris Boohoo, what's he going to do? Who? And Boris was quite excited about it. We were watching from our hidey pipes. Harbawa. Boris had bought... Three huge cans of bristly beans. He showed them to Boise. Ah. Boris had plans for these beans. Money making plans. Oh, neat. Plans to make bristly bean bubble bath. Relax. Relax, forget all your troubles. Lie in a bath of boo bubbles. Bubbles made from bristly beans. Scrub your skin until it's clean. Then you coming to you from Boris Boo. Ah. Boris needed Boise's help. The bubble bath making was about to begin. Because this was the day of bubbles and beans. But someone else in Hairyland was busy making something. It was Nana outside her arty den. Nana's always making something. Well, you know what she's like. Nana's a Hairyland artist. Nana can draw like a dream. She can spray, she can glue. She can do collage too. And sometimes she paints with ice cream. Yes, ice cream. Nana's always laughing. But if she goes too far, she lifts off her toes and up she goes. Yes, up goes Nana. Up goes Nana. Up goes Nana. Ha ha. And today, Nana had made this. A wacky water fountain. Made out of old bottles, all collected by Pa. Pa thought Nana's wacky water fountain was wonderful. And so did Nana. <laughs> Lily Alley, Mo, 
But it wasn't finished yet. Pa wanted Ma to see the wacky water fountain, so off he went to find her. Now, back in the factory at Chateau Shampoo. Boris and Boise had been hard at work. And now the bristly beans were just a tub of hairy orange gunge. <laughs> but Boris needed one extra thing to make his bristly bean bubble bath bubble. Water! And he told Boise to turn on the tap. But Chateau Shampoo had run out of water. There wasn't a drop left. No water, no bubbles. No bubbles, no money. Oh. Oh. Boris had to get water from somewhere. He needed a plan. Boris needs a plan, a plan. He needs a plan as quick as he can. He needs a plan, he needs it quick. He needs a plan, a clever trick. What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? And Boris's plan was to go to the Curly Swirly Meadow and get some water from Ringlet River. We came along to watch. And landed in the Whiskey Wafty Tree. <laughs> Boise poured some water in, and sure enough, the bubble bath started to bubble. <laughs> it doesn't get any better now it's bubbly, does it? Ew. <laughs> but just then, who should come along but. Mini Ha Ha and Chihuahua Ha! And when Boise saw Minnie, he spilled for all his water. <laughs> Minnie asked Boise to help her take Chihuahua for a walk. And Boise never says no to Minnie, so off he went. Leaving Boris feeling very cross and rather wet. Boo! We decided to go and see Nana's wacky water fountain. Pop -a Landed in her hairy apple tree. <gasps> Nana loved her fountain. She sat down to admire it from her bushy bed. But she was so tired, she fell asleep. But there was trouble ahead. Boris was on his way back to Chateau Shampoo when he saw Nana's wacky water fountain. And he had an idea. <laughs> Those bottles were just what he needed for his new bristly bean bubble bath. Boris crept over to the fountain where Nana slept, turned off the water and helped himself to a bottle. Then another one. Soon, he had armfuls of bottles. Oh, Nits! Boris is spoiling Nana's wacky water fountain. Boris, boo-hoo, you're bad right through-hoo. Boris was busy filling up the bottles with bubble bath when he heard someone coming. <gasps> it was Chihuahua, Boise and Minnie. And Nana had woken up. <laughs> Boris was hiding. Bye-bye. Bye. <gasps> they thought the wacky water fountain was wonderful. But Nana knew straight away that some bottles were missing. Where could they be? Boise and Minnie said they'd help Nana look for them. They couldn't have gone far. <laughs> Boris couldn't let Nana see him with her bottles. So he ran out from behind the bush. He went into a panic. The kind of panic that makes you trip up and throw <laughs> bottles. Whoops! <laughs> I just knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Boris's bubbles were all over Nana's wacky water fountain. Boo! Just then, Ma and Pa 
arrived. Boris pretended to be pleased to see them. They were pleased to see Boris. Then Nana, Minnie and Boise and Chiwa came back. Boris pretended to be pleased to see them. Then Nana saw her wacky water fountain covered in bubbles. Oh. Who did that? It wasn't the Ha Ha Harry. It was Boris. That's why he took the bottles to fill them with bubble bath. <laughs> Nana was so happy. What a kind friend Boris is. Eva. It wasn't a wacky water fountain. It was a bristly bean bubbler. <laughs> Boise was so proud of his dad. The Ha Ha Harry started playing with the bubbles. <laughs> Nana laughed so much, she couldn't keep her feet on the ground. Up she went. Up. 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 Until Boise managed to help her down again. <laughs> Boris was furious. All his bristly bean bubble bath wasted on the Ha Ha Harrys. One day he'd show them. <laughs> Just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> I so love it when Boris's greedy plans go wrong. Yeah, me too. Quiff, why are you holding your nose? I don't smell that bad. You don't think? Mm. Hey, come on, Whiffy Wiggy Wigster, it's bath time. Oh, but I'm too tired for a bath. Not interested. Oh, we don't have any bubble bath. There's nothing wrong with hairy berry soap. Come on. What if I don't care about being Whiffy? Ooh, what if I do? Oh, I don't care. 